Hi you guys, it's Kayla from the KK Lifestyle. Welcome to my video today. I'm going to be teaching you how to do a new makeup trend, um, really nude tones that are very similar to your skin tone so it makes it all look um, very natural. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. I've already done my um, foundation uh, and I've already done my eyebrows so I'm gonna go on in with my contour I love using the KKW Beauty light contour stick I use um, the light one side sometimes the light two side um, but I find that this is just the easiest way for me to get a little shape to my face Next up is a new product. I'm using the Milani uh, Cheek Kiss Blush. This is a cream blush. Um, I love a cream blush, especially in the winter when my skin is so dry. This is the color Nude Kiss. The next thing I'm going to use is my um, Sheer Highlighting Glow, I always forget the name of this, Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid from Chanel. I'm going to use this as my highlighter today because I don't really want anything super shimmery. I feel like there's a difference between shimmery and glowy and sometimes there's a need for both. Um, but today I'm just kind of going for a healthy glow and not super shimmer since it's more of a nude look. I want it to be a little bit more um, flat. So I am just going to put some of this on the back of my hand, use my finger and just kind of touch the tops of my cheekbones um, and right over the blush that I just applied and I'm just very lightly patting it in. I'm also going to slide the remainder of what's on my finger down my nose. Um, I'm not adding any more product, I'm just kind of putting the excess right there just to give me a little bit of shine right down the middle and offset the contour that I put on my nose. Okay, so I got a new palette for this makeup trend. It is the Nude Light Palette. I am so fair that nude often for me is even more pinky tones than it is neutral tones. And that's why I wanted to try out this palette because it's got a lot of really pretty nude pink tones in it, especially this one is gonna be really good for me. So I'm gonna be utilizing this palette. There are other colors if you aren't as fair as I am. Other color scheme palette so there's like a medium and a dark I think so just choose the one that most suits your skin tone but I'm gonna be working with the light today so I'm gonna start in the middle here with this lightest shade and just do a sweep of that all over the lid Now I'm gonna go in with this pink, first pink tone right here. So in the crease and a little bit above the crease. I saw um, a comment or I got some feedback on my last video um, saying like, what if you don't have a crease? Um, I don't necessarily have a super defined crease either, especially when my eyes are inflamed uh, winter time, but um, basically what I'm doing with these colors is making my own crease. I'm creating dimension by using the eyeshadow to give my eyes a little bit more definition in the places where I want it to be. And that's the beauty of makeup is you can really make, you can make it look however you want to. Okay, now I'm going in with this peachy tone right here, the bottom line in the center. And just continuing to layer these colors. I really like these colors a lot. They're really pretty and soft. Um, all right, so I'm now switching and going in with this mauve color that I've been waiting to use. I think this is so beautiful. And I'm putting it on a flat brush and I am just going to kind of put that on the outer lash line and pull it up into the crease. So I'm kind of making an arrow shape. All 
right, I'm now switching to a fluffier brush and I'm gonna go in with this brown. Um, darkest brown, this is the, dar the darkest color in the palette and I am just lightly dusting that um, in the crease area just to give some uh, depth in the outer portion of the eye. Okay, again, I don't want to do too much shimmer with this look, but I'm really interested to see this pink shimmery color right here. So I'm just going to use my finger and just dot a little bit of that right here in the inner lower part of the eye. Just for a little bit of glow, but it's not really super overpowering at all. Switching to back to my flat definer brush, I'm going to use the two colors, the mauve color and the dark brown on the lower lash line just to give some um, definition to this area of my eye and it kind of connects um, the upper and lower portion of the eye and it really completes the eyeshadow look. So I put the mauve color almost all the way across on the lower lash line and then I just put the dark brown just in the outer areas and just kind of connected it to the top as well and made sure that it was kind of a seamless flow from the top lash line to the bottom. I've really been loving brown eyeliner lately. It's just a really soft change up for me because I usually only use um, really dark black. I have been really loving using brown. This is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in the color Simi Sweet, and I am just going to tight line the top and bottom um, waterline. Using a little of my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. So that completes the eye look. Um, I love the nude shades on me. I know that they're a little bit more pinky tone. Honestly, for my skin tone, that is really kind of a true nude. I love how soft this looks. I think it's really not harsh. It's very easy. It's very uh, kind of soft in daytime, but also has a little bit of smokiness to it as well. So I really like it. I'm gonna finish off with the lips. It's a new lip combo that I've been loving. Um, this is the KKW Lip Liner Nude Zero. So this is the pink Pinky nude. This is very nude. And then pairing that with the nude one lipstick. So there you go, you guys. That completes my nude makeup tutorial. I love this trend. I love these colors. Love the softness and just kind of how classy it looks. Just a more enhanced version of what I already have going on. If you haven't already, make sure and subscribe and go find me on Instagram at the KK Lifestyle blog. Go ahead and give me a follow there for more quick videos, beauty tips, and wellness tips, as well as check out the KKLifestyle.com uh, for all of my blog content. So I hope that you guys have a great week and enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.